so I'm usually a pretty big wuss when it comes to horror movies, but I know there's a lot of great films in this genre, so I'm trying to be brave and branch out and watch some of them. So today I'm going to watch the 1973 film The Wicker Man. I don't know the plot. I know there's a Nicolas Cage remake, um, but that's all I really know about it. I don't know the cast, the director, anything like that, but thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for horror movies you think I should watch, please comment below. And I do have horror movie themed notebooks for sale. The link is below as well. And if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, be sure to join Patreon. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. Okay, that's terrifying. Just like a close up of like, it looked like a wooden sun almost. Okay, is that, is this based on a book? Anthony Schaefer, comment below and let me know. All right, is that the director's name maybe? Christopher Lee, oh man, I haven't seen uh, a ton of his movies, but I know his name is um, pretty popular with horror movies, especially. Music performed by Magnet? Okay, interesting. Is this in Scotland or like Northern England? It's very beautiful wherever they're filming. Mama's night when corn rigs are bonny. The day What's a corn rig? Seamus Flannerney. That's what a name. That's a great name. Corn rigs and barley rigs. And this like cheerful music is making me very suspicious. I'll not forget that happy night. Something feels off for sure. Guess I don't get visitors very often. It does seem very remote, obviously. No, not any. <coughs> she doesn't belong to this island. No, I never saw her before. This seems like a place where everybody would know everybody. In the high street. Me and Morrison. You're quite sure. Quite sure. Well, thank you for your help. Like, oh, just kidding. Actually, we do know her. That's not May's daughter, though. Oh, whose daughter is it? Not May's. And who is she? Real chatty bunch, these guys. Okay. The sky is blue, the wind is still, the moon will shine. Did they buy one song for the entire movie? I loved her most sincerely. It's kind of reminded me of The Prisoner right now, to be honest. Like, this town seems very suspicious. Everybody's watching him from the windows. Like, she is now. In the fields. She runs and plays there all day. Is she? She lives in the fields? Tea. Tea? Hares don't have tea, silly. She's a rabbit? Hares? Rowan's a hare. Very kind of you. No, not at all. It must be thirsty work asking all those questions, eh? Ah, oh my, that's terrifying. Green man in. Ugh. <laughs> Oh my, and literally everything stopped. The music, the conversations, everything. He arranged. My daughter Willow will show you to your room. Willow? Father? Willow? Willow, is that you? Oh my. Oh, when she's sent baldy house queens by the score, but I sing all the baggage. He's like, why are you singing at me? I'm Lord's daughter. She has her own theme song, oh my. Oh, she's not the kind of girl to take home to your mother. Oh my gosh, this song. <laughs> Quite the musical little village here. Like if you swear not to waste the landlord's daughter. Is this a real song? Hearts of every gentleman do stand up. At wow, wow. Not very subtle, are they? Cheese and rice. I don't know what's happening. Why does everybody in this bar just have a musical instrument with them? Oh, you don't want to let them worry you. 
Why don't you have a wee drink? Famous last words. I'd be most grateful if you'd let me know. That's all you look for. The pub's kind of reminded me of um, an American werewolf in London when they walk in and everybody kind of gives them that weird look, like, what are you doing here? And they've got that same, like, sun logo and everything. I'm afraid nobody's seen her, Sergeant. Oh, I'm missing one photo. <laughs> Summer Isle and this girl standing with all these, like, fruit around them. It's Harvest Festival photographs. Oh, Harvest Festival, okay. Disgusting. What are those? Looks like he's eating rocks. Those like blue and green things. What the frick are those? And famous for its fruit and vegetables. I expect they've all been exported. You can have the uh, peaches and cream. Yeah, they they export all their fruit. They don't keep any for themselves. Food isn't everything in life, you know. Well, that remains to be seen. Um, just a casual outdoor orgy. Okay. Oh my. Um. It's going to be a spicy movie. <laughs> They're watering the graves. What the frick is going on? Oh my. He's just sitting naked on his grave. Put my hand on honey and I wasn't expecting so many songs. And she says, Do you want a kiss? Well, so many sexy songs. The day of death and rebirth. Yes. And it was an awkward conversation. Suffering. And tonight. It's like, I'll just bring somebody to your window late at night as a offering to Aphrodite. Oh my. Poor boy looks lost. So many questions. What is going on? Seems very spicy. And also musical, but also there's murder. She says, Do you want to fill me? Wow. Oh my. They are not leaving much to the imagination with this song. I wonder how well this soundtrack sold. I imagine those walls are paper thin. <laughs> yep. This guy's like, what have I gotten myself into? How can I get out of here? Oh my. Midsummer? Are we doing a midsummer uh, movie? Oh my. And a fine, fine tree was he. <laughs> And on that limb there was a branch, and on that branch there was a nest, and in that... I was not expecting a musical, but uh, let's hear where we are. But a feather came, and all of that... Oh good, he's got hand motions now, here we go. There was a girl, and on that girl there was a man, and from that man there was a seed, and from that seed... All their songs are about fornication. I think we figured it out by now. Do we really need... 12 songs explaining how people uh, make babies. Seems very cultish. Seems very like something's something's happening. I'm pretty sure one of those maypoles was in uh, Midsummer as well. Those things always freak me out. And everybody's like separated, like the boys are outside singing sexy songs and the girls are inside in school. It is the image of the penis, which is venerated in religions such as ours. As the religion is about the penis? Can I have a word with you, please, miss? Certainly. Yes. Open your desk and take out your exercise books. They worship the maypole because it looks like a giant dick. Oh my. Yourselves. Meanwhile, I'll write her name over there on the blackboard. Yeah, the island doesn't have its own police force. They have to bring in somebody else. Definitely not a diverse cast. Like, everybody on this island is white. Rowan and I don't know if that was the 70s or if they were just trying to name? show how isolated they are. Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm curious who reported Rowan missing if it wasn't her mother. Oh god, that's horrible. Well, you see, until it ends up right up tight to the nail. Poor old thing. <laughs> that's so cruel! What a jerk. Liars. You are despicable little liars. Oh, well, look at that. Hello, Rowan. Yours, isn't she? Dun 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 dun. Busted. Is desk, isn't it? And they all just lied to him. The rites and rituals of May Day, Chapter 5. I won't be long. Yeah, why are they lying? Like, who reported are missing? The soul returns to trees, to air, to fire. That's what she said. She's a hare. So she's dead? The building attached to the ground in which the body lies is no longer used for Christian worship. He's just talking in riddles. Still a churchyard is debatable. Oh, my God. Just answer the question. I must get back to my girls. Good morning to you. Yeah, and they completely flat out denied that they even knew her when obviously they did. Even if she is now dead, they're definitely hiding something. It's like, oh, is he in the cemetery? Well, we don't refer to it as a cemetery. We don't believe in the dead. Oh my, what's happening here? She's holding an egg in one hand and a baby in another. That's where all their fruit's gone. To the dead? Who's that? That's Rowan. Who lies there? Rowan Madison. There we go. All right. What is it? The poor wee lassie's needle string, of course. Oh, her umbilical cord? The tree. Where does your minister live? They're hanging it on a tree. <laughs> That's unsettling. Oh my gosh. It'll do that poor soul throat good. Now anyone would think you didn't want to get better. She no. wants the daughter to eat a fur- Oh my god! Oh my god, it happened. And out he comes! Oh my god, that poor frog. I feel like that was real. No. I 100% feel like that happened. Oh, for now. Here's your sweet for being a brave girl. Come on, which one would you... Not enough gumballs in the world to get the frog taste out of your mouth. Your horrid old sore throat now, hasn't he, poor creature? Um, okay. I don't think that's how sore throat transfer it. works, but sure. Oh, I doubt it. Seeing it all raving mad. Well, you know, you said it, not me. Is that her? Yes, that's her. How did she die? Great question. Thank you. That was literally just a jar of foreskins. Oh my. Well, I'm first. Brains, hearts. A photographer. I understand that you take the harvest. And next to this midnight cologne, there's these chickens. Oh my god. Well, do you have a copy of it? Oh no, I don't keep copies. Like every good photographer, only has one set of everything. Nat. This is their uh, transportation system. Yeah, like the pacing's been good. I know sometimes with older movies, things are very slow. Even their hedges are shaped like uh, a penis. Yeah, like they're doing a good job of keeping you engaged, but still not really answering anything. Like we know now that Rowan is dead. And these pregnant women are, oh my, naked worshipping the circle with various arm movements. Okay. Fertility definitely seems to be of high importance and like their main focus. And like those stones, does that have any significance to where they're doing this like ritual? Yeah, comment below if you know where they film this. It looks beautiful, and I'm curious to see if there's been an increase in, like, tourism since this movie. Or if people avoid it entirely. I don't know. They're hoping to get pregnant by doing this dance, I'm guessing. Sergeant Howie. Christopher Lee! People refreshes you. No, sir. I think that's him. I've only ever seen photos of him older, but it looks similar. Are naked. Naturally, it's much too dangerous to jump through the fire with your clothes on. It's like, we'll just bring your skin instead, instead of your clothes. Problem solved. Reproduction without sexual union. Oh, what is all this? 
They think their religion will impregnate them. Do sit down, Sergeant. Socks are so much better absorbed with the knees bent. He believes that, but he also believes that he, he doesn't have a father and he's become impregnated by a ghost. He can't complain. He had his chance, and in modern parlance, blew it. I don't think that's the answer he was hoping for. Oh my, quick zoom in. What he did, of course, was to develop new cultivars of hardy fruit suited to local condition. You could say this island is making them very fruitful. Ah. Uh... What are, what's so funny? What are we looking at here? Come on, Chuckles. Oh, it's a rap or a hare. Oh my God. Well, they did see she was a hare, so. But then where's Rowan? If there's a hare in the casket, where's this girl? I found that in Rowan Morrison's grave. They're like, we know, we put it there. Rowan Morrison. Well, here she is. What remains of the I feel like hair she is was a perfectly missed opportunity for a good pun. And now I find that there is a grave. There's no body. Just a web of lies and deceit. What do you think could have happened? It's like he knows what happened, he's just not saying anything. Clarity, which I can scarcely bring myself to believe is taking place in the 20th century. How tall is Christopher Lee? Yeah, what's their May Day celebration? That's what those girls were studying in school as well. Yeah, your kettle's cracked. The cause is plain, they told. There has so I didn't realize he was uh, an accomplished singer as well. What can't this man do? Old. I, he's great at being, like, intimidating, but also in a very, like, unassuming way. Like, I find it's very, like, subtle, and I think that just makes it even creepier. Like, you don't know what he's going to do next. So cool. I love all this. Like, I, if I was ever a millionaire, I'd love to have my own dark room one day. That'd be so cool. Well, that's it. The crops failed. She's standing in front of, like, yeah, empty baskets and stuff. Oh, shoot, it is. Uh-oh. They blame her? Sergeant. That's why there's no fruit. Yeah, they blame her for the... Failed crops or something like that. That's my guess. Everybody else's photo had like tons of fruit and vegetables around them, and then hers was just like a few. Oh my. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'll get too bad you're not staying. And now I think after everything he's found out, he's like, I better stay and find out what this May Day celebration is all about. Oh my, I think they'll be saying more than that. I think it's working, he's coming over. There hasn't been a ton of like gore or violence, but definitely uh, they've made up for a nudity. Oh my. Come on. They just, they're just not even trying to hide the meaning of what this is about. Oh my. This is extra spicy. Habanero. Oh my. Cal was it Carolina Reaper? Oh my, we've hit the max spice level. He's like, I can't. I want to, but I can't. She's just suggestively banging all the different objects. I shouldn't have said banging. Hitting. Adam. It's just like, tear down this wall. It's just sweating up against this photo. Oh my. It's like, this is as close as I can get. Is that a picture of a sheep? Good night. Sergeant Sleuth. It's like I had the most interesting dream. Back today. You wouldn't want to be around here on May Day. Not the way you feel. Yeah, and of course, May Day is also a term for when things are going horribly wrong, which I feel like is ominous. And it is May 1st. Like, it's literally a day in May. But also, 
These kids are sacrificing their doll. What's happening? Who would? The sacrifice was a human being. Oh, God. That's terrifying. Sometimes the victim would be drowned in the sea or burnt to death in a huge sacrificial bonfire. That's Some... nightmare fuel. Thus represented a goddess reborn and guaranteed another successful harvest next year. That all sounds horrible. Yeah, and like human sac- Did they sacrifice Rowan? That's my guess, but it didn't work or they changed their mind, I guess. That's it. Yeah, what's with this eye? They showed that when they first arrived as well. Oh, that's uncomfortable. Are those the- I'm guessing those are masks for Mayday? Oh, why are they popping up one at a time? Cheese and rice. Those poor cows are gonna be terrified. Have a good sight, then. Let me guess, he can't leave? He's stuck there? Oh, this is gonna be the turning point. He's like, ha ha ha, you'll never catch me. Ha ha, I'm a giant red dragon. Ha ha ha, bye. Is tar and feathering on their list? Oh my God. You should have got out of there. Yeah, and we haven't heard anything about uh, Rowan's dad either. Things are unraveling very fast. He's asleep. I like how he was like, I'm stressed out. I need a drink and a nap. They've given you a girl a five minute start, haven't they? Goodbye. I just noticed what was on his pants. Oh my. Oh, a burning hand. What the frick? It's just a burning human hand. They have as like a twisted candle. Oh, bonked him. I saw that coming. Yeah. He's like, okay, well now I've committed a crime and I'm supposed to be here to prevent crimes. He's gonna steal his costume. Ah, I don't know where this is gonna go. It's getting very bizarre. Chop! 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 Karate chops? Oh god. Chop! 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 This is a dangerous game indeed. Chop! 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 We still don't know who wrote the letter. Chop! Oh my! Go Got your nose! Ha 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 ha! <gasps> oh my god! They just beheaded that. Oh, oh my heart! What? Cheese and rice. <laughs> She's like, gotcha, everybody loves a fake beheading, ha ha ha! Nightmare, nightmare fuel. There must have been so many extras in this, because literally the whole town is out. She's been alive this whole time? What? Where have they been hiding her? How big is this island? Come on. Why would somebody report- Oh, bonked him. Why would somebody report her missing if she's right there? What? You know what they're going to do? Oh, they're going, going to do. Come on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, you found her. Now we got to get out of there. I don't know how that's going to happen, considering... What's going on here? What? I thought she was trying to escape. Hi. You did it beautifully. See how little Rowan. What did she do right? What? What's happening? Rowan, darling. Come on now. That was short-lived escape. Oh, this is not looking good. Those swords are real. They used Rowan as like a trap? Like bait? What? You have found you and brought you here. And control your every thought and action since you arrived. Oh god, that's horrifying. Animals are fine, but their acceptability is limited. A little child is even better. Oh god. Mean. Like kind of adult. 
I think they're talking about you, bud. Yeah, they brought him here just to sacrifice him? Oh my gosh. What a trip. He is a fool. Get out of my way. Oh, that's very ominous indeed. They're like, we needed somebody who was a virgin, would come on their free will, and you fit that bill. And they researched him, which is creepy. Like, we don't want to sacrifice one of our own, we need to sacrifice you. Oh my, you're not getting out of here, man. What would you even do? Like, do you try and run? Do you accept your fate? They think he's gonna come back as a crop. Okay. I'm curious to find out how this was perceived when it came out. Obviously, there's very strong themes of religion and sexuality throughout. Oh, let me tickle you with my hair. Ha ha hoo 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 hoo. Everybody's also very blonde. They're gonna treat him like a king and then say goodbye. Right on his nips? What are they doing? Why are they putting paint on him? And does this mean if he would have slept with Willow and lost his virginity that he would be fine? It is time to keep your appointment with the Wicker Man. Hey, that's the name of the movie. To be grown on these islands, it, it's against nature! Well, don't you see that killing me is not going to bring back your apples? They're like, well, we're gonna try anyway and see what happens. If your crops fail this year, next year you're going to have to have another blood sacrifice! Yep, they're like, that's fine, we'll just do it again. Well, you're some aisle. Next year, your people will kill you on May Day. Not likely. They'll come looking for me! There will be no traces. Bring him up, Oak. Oh, God. He's like, yeah, they can look, but they're not going to find anything. In the name of God, think what you're doing! Yeah, he's like, well, don't you think someone's going to come looking for me? Like, I'm a police officer. People know I'm here. He's engaged. I'm sure his fiance will wonder. But yeah, even if they show up... Like, these townspeople, we know they can lie and deceive people, so what are they going to do? They can have their suspicions, but if they don't have any proof, then nothing's going to happen. Oh, God! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, my. A literal man of wicker? Christ! No! They're going to put him in it? No, I see stairs. Oh, no, sir. This is a horrible way to go. Oh, my God. These guys are sick. Yeah, and he's like, what happens if the crops fail? Oh, we'll just bring someone else over. Like, they're so convinced that the sacrifice will... They're going to kill the geese? <laughs> Please tell me they take the animals out. That would take a long time. And be very, very painful. Like, this isn't like a quick, like... They're sacrificing all those animals. And this guy, just to cover all their bases. Oh, the baby cow! Oh, God. <laughs> well, of course they'll have a song for him. There's a song for everything in this movie. What an elaborate ruse just to get a sacrifice. Oh, my. And all these people who could do something to stop it, and everybody's just watching. Fire shall fail! And ye shall all die! These are your last words, buddy. A curse! Oh, going for curses now, okay. Even when Christopher Lee was standing there and the wind was blowing through his hair, it just made him look even crazier because he's got these big spiky hair. Oh my god, that's like, that's so messed up. What? I feel- yeah, like, I feel like that would take a really long time! Oh, not the animals! Could you imagine you're, like, being burnt to death and you look out and there's just an entire town joyfully singing to your demise? Because they're like, apples! We love apples! Mmm! Can't wait to taste those apples that are you reincarnated. Bye, Howie. A literal wicker man. They even gave him fingers. 
God. That would be so painful. Everyone's like, we did it! We got him! He's dead! Definitely reminded me of Midsummer. I can't imagine how terrifying. I know they're on like a remote island, but could you imagine just like looking up and seeing this huge fire? This feels very dangerous and very real for everybody involved. Oh my God. Like, well, we got one shot, don't mess it up. Oh God. Where's that gonna land? Falls right into the sun, the sun god they're worshipping. Cheese and crackers. Oh, okay, filmed entirely in Scotland. Okay. So that was my first time watching the 1973 film The Wicker Man. It was definitely something else. I wasn't expecting the literal title of A Man Made of Wicker, which we see at the end. It was very bizarre, but I really enjoyed it at the same time. I like more psychological and, you know, mystery type of horror movies than just straight blood and guts and gore constantly. There was definitely not a lot of blood and gore in this at all. And the body count was one, basically, with... Sergeant Howie being the only one who actually dies as we think Rowan's dead, then we find out she's not. It definitely kept you guessing the entire way through, but I thought the pacing was still really good. It wasn't like four hours long of just constantly okay, questions and questions. They did a good job of like a trail of breadcrumbs and slowly planting seeds of, okay, we know Rowan, but she's a hare. And then they find out, okay, no, actually she was sacrificed, but then the harvest failed. And then they've just, the way he discovers things is how the audience learns things as well, which I think is the most interesting because you get to go along through the journey and learn as he's learning. I wasn't expecting it to just be a giant trap, basically. They just lured him to the island. We never found out who wrote the letter. It doesn't really matter, obviously, because they just needed someone to come to the island of free will, who was a virgin, who could be easily persuaded, I guess. I love that Christopher Lee was in this. I haven't seen a ton of his movies, so but I know he's a horror icon, so it was great to see his performance. I thought he did a great job. Everybody's performance in this film was really well done. I thought he did a good job of being very intimidating but also very like reserved at the same time if that makes sense like he was definitely not saying everything which we find out later and when he says like we were able to control you like we controlled the narrative we led you to believe these things because we wanted you to believe these things and just the mind games and the way that they just had total control over him and I think that's what made him so terrifying was just like that power struggle basically where he's like I'm going to let you believe this. I'm going to put these things in place and you'll figure them out because I want you to figure them out. And then when it's time, we will sacrifice you, basically. I didn't recognize the actor who played uh, Howie or Willow or anybody else. So comment below. Are they in other horror movies? Would I know them from anything? I'm also very curious to find out how this did at the box office and how it was received when it first came out. Obviously, very strong themes of religion and sexuality. And given the time that it came out, I'm curious if it was loved or hated or a mix of both. I'm very curious to see the Nick Cage version and see how that relates, see which part he plays and if they take huge leaps, if it's a literally a shot for shot remake, I have no idea. But yeah, now that I've seen the original, I'm very curious to see how Nick Cage would fit into all of this. It definitely reminded me of Midsummer, which I'm sure was heavily influenced by this film as we see this very remote location has this annual festival and that we turn out something sinister is going on and just the setting itself felt like a character because they were so isolated. They had that advantage to be controlling and telling him what he wanted to believe and he had no way of verifying it. You know, we don't know much about these people's backstory. We find a little bit about Lord Summer Isle and his grandfather coming to the island, but we don't know anything else about anybody. Like as soon as the camera starts, that's when their story begins basically. And we never meet Rowan's parents. They said Rachel and Benjamin and as far as we know, May was her mom or acting as her mother. So yeah, I'm curious to find out what happened to Rachel and Benjamin. If they were in the crowd the whole time and we just were never introduced to them, I have no idea. But the fact that Rowan was missing and then everybody was just ignoring it and 
pretending and the whole town just orchestrated this big elaborate scheme and the level of organization obviously and the level of deception you have to go to and getting the children involved and okay if he comes into the school which you know he probably will pretend you don't know her and then he sees her name written in the book and he's like okay well how are you disputing this i feel like this is a movie that when you watch it again you see all the things that were there the whole time like when he first arrives and how he goes to the pub and tries to order an apple for dessert and he's like you know what i'm on this island that's known for its fruit I might as well enjoy some of this and Willow's like oh actually you know we don't have any because their crops failed but she lies and says like oh we must have exported it all and that kind of is like red flag number one and he doesn't realize that obviously that that's a lie and their crops have failed they're in panic mode basically this is how they survive and they think the only way to rectify this is by human sacrifice and he's unfortunately the guy who signed up for the job is they're not willing to sacrifice one of their own because in their minds the reason the crops failed isn't anything to do with science or nature or actual farming practices it's because the gods must be punishing them and the only way to get the crops back therefore is to appease the gods and to make them happy so that their crops will flourish it also kind of reminded me of the prisoner as we have our main character is in an unfamiliar place and everything around him seems suspicious and he's getting you know answers to questions and riddles and like half answers and truths but are also hiding things when we see that little girl Myrtle says oh you know she's a hare like she's been playing in the fields she's having a great time and then when we see the casket opened up and there is in fact a hare in there you're like okay you're not wrong like that is factually accurate but it also doesn't explain anything so it was just such an elaborate very long con of writing this letter getting this guy to come out and what if he had left like what if he had left the day before or i'm assuming they messed with his plane basically as soon as he got there and that was the only way to leave i would have been curious to find out if he would have agreed to that week-long boat ride back to the mainland it doesn't seem like he ever had contact with anybody in the police force or his fiance basically once he arrived how he didn't we didn't see him make any phone calls or anything a letter obviously would have taken too long but the fact that he knows what's happening things are getting very suspicious and he doesn't try and reach out maybe there aren't any phones at the island and that's why he physically was going to go back and try and get some more police officers it just plays into the time so well because i think if you would have set that today and i'm curious to see if that will be brought into the nicholas cage version of cell phones and modern technology i'm sure there will be you know no service or something like that that will hinder him from contacting people who could verify or like look things up for him i think it was a great example of a horror movie that focused on story one location obviously various spots within that one location one island um, but we have all the little shops and everybody's houses and the school and the cemetery and they still made it very interesting and i wasn't bored because the story was interesting and i was waiting to find out okay, what happened to Rowan? Where is she? What's going on? You can tell the people aren't saying everything that they know. We had one location, relatively small cast, despite all the many, many extras, but the actual like speaking lines, like five or six main cast members and then even a relatively short timeline like he gets there and then it's a couple days later of this May Day. And I think that's such a clever way of hiding that something horrible is happening as it is literally a day in may it's the first of may and obviously may day is a call for when things are bad you need help you call may day i don't know if that name of the day is accurate i know in midsummer it was the summer solstice and that was the reason for gathering in june i believe june 21st or something like that and this took place in may so i don't know if that was just clever writing or if it, it actually is a day that they celebrate in may it was interesting to see how we try and reason with them at the end obviously he's terrified and is trying to talk them out of this plan but i also felt like he had taken on the role of the audience at that point when these are things that they would be thinking like how often have these crops failed and he's like oh this is the first time that it's happened since his grandfather came to the island because i was like if they start killing people you know every year every couple of years even people are going to start to be suspicious and avoid this place and then what happens if you actually need help? Like, are they gonna think you're crying wolf and no one's gonna go to this island on their own and no one's gonna stay, like keep the car running type of thing? Because they're so isolated and so remote, obviously that adds another level to if you need help, you can't get out. I know there's a remake. I don't know if there are any sequels done or anything like that. Comment below and let me know. It would be interesting to see 
the police force or how his fiance show up and ask the same questions that he was asking about Rowan basically but now people are asking about him and probably showing his photo around and they'd probably lie and say oh never seen him like you must have the wrong island like all these things even when he first arrives they're like no you can't stay here and then I don't know if that was trying to like test his free will or trying to test like if he would actually keep pursuing this. I think they did a good job of making it super creepy and weird without going like over the top and making it insanely gory or anything like that when we see Howie reading from the book and he's learning about this culture and he's like oh they used to you know cut off the skin and wear on people's faces and they used to do human sacrificing and they used to drown people and I think letting your imagination think of those things is terrifying enough without it needing to be shown on camera. We don't know much about about Howie's backstory but obviously the people of the island have researched him. We don't know much about Howie's backstory other than he's engaged and he's a police officer obviously. It definitely felt like there was a lot of symbolism in this movie and however far you want to read into that is up to you but having that woman feeding her baby and then holding an egg and just even like apples and the flowers and even when Lord Summer Isle is discussing how bountiful the crops had been and how you know thankful they are for these wonderful apples and all the fruits the fruits of their labor and you could apply that two ways as being fruitful means having lots of children and the fact that they also have interesting approach to fertility and having naked women dance around the fire and when we have Willow up in her room doing this naked dance for the police officer and trying to like call him to her room and she seemed to have this power over him without speaking to him they they never actually touched he didn't leave the room but he was drawn to her somehow and how Lord Summerow believes that he was conceived through a ghost basically he's like my mom was a virgin and that's what I believe those girls are out there are trying to do like well wouldn't you rather have you know a child born from a god like a sun god or something like that as opposed to just a regular person and even how this takes place in May springtime springtime is a time of renewal after the winter and animals usually start procreating in spring or babies are born in spring so yeah it was just I mean you can read into it whatever you want but it was just uh it felt like it was really intentionally done and the clues were there all along and everything felt like it had a purpose. They said they intentionally chose a police officer and I'm not sure why. Um, they wanted somebody who was investigating a missing child, but I feel like involving the police would only complicate things as obviously everybody knows where he is and also the police investigate crimes and you're committing a crime. So it feels like they're just asking for more trouble and more police interference, but they also tried to drug him or let that like hand candle, whatever the frick that was on fire so that he would stay asleep and sleep through the ceremony. They were probably going to then scoop him up while he was asleep and put him in the wicker man and sacrifice him that way anyway. So I feel like his fate was sealed. I don't know where they were keeping Rowan. It felt like a very small island in a small village but obviously they had her hidden away somewhere so the police officer wouldn't see her and the fact that they used Rowan as bait basically and how she had to pretend she was you know come save me I want to get out of here and they have that quick little chase sequence and then as soon as she comes out on the other side of the caves it's Lord Summer Isle and Willow and everybody just like waiting for him and he's like what the frick is going on like I don't know how he was going to escape anyway. Like, there had no way to get off the island. I feel like he finally thought he had done. He's like, yes, I found you. You're alive. You're okay. Like, let's get out of here. And she goes along with it. And then instantly is like, did I do a good job? Like, this did this work? It also reminded me of Logan's run a little bit. Just how they view death and that carousel ceremony of renew, rebirth. And that's how they view this sacrifice as well. He's like, you're not really dying. They don't believe in the dead. He's like, you're going to be reborn into our crops, basically and that's why we're sacrificing you so that you'll appease the gods and come back to ensure a good crop and a good yield in the fall. It's interesting to think that people on the island were just going about their everyday lives. They were doing all the things that they normally do and were just 
lying to him the entire time and didn't feel like they had to hide the way that they lived because they knew this guy was never getting off the island. And even when Howie's telling them, like, people are going to come look for me. And Lord Summer Isle says, like, they can look, basically, but there's going to be nothing left of you, which we saw will be very accurate. If they do find anything, it'll be impossible to identify. So, yeah, that was just, like, the most, like, gut punch part of that, I think. is like, we're going to kill you and no one's ever going to be able to figure out what happened to you and no one will ever know and there'll just be this endless mystery about what happened to you in an already very mysterious place like we see the mom puts the frog in her daughter's mouth which was terrifying because I feel like that was a real frog they think that's how sore throats are going to be cured we have the boys with their maypole dance and all these very very sexual songs like everything seemed to be out of place and everything seemed to be a little bit off and the fact that Howie is still so dedicated to finding Rowan he's like I'm not gonna leave there's numerous red flags that something weird is happening here but he's like I'm gonna stay I want to find her whether she's alive whether she's dead I want to try and solve this mystery I was definitely not expecting so many musical numbers there was a lot of songs a lot of them very very sexual and I think there would have been a few songs about apples or something in there as that seems to be their two main focuses on this island is to grow good crops and to have a bunch of babies yet somehow only wrote songs about having sex and getting pregnant and all the different ways to have sex definitely an original soundtrack it felt more like a musical at some points because every scene especially when we first started the movie had a song for it and even that final song when he's literally burning to death and they're sacrificing him and then it cuts to everybody just like swaying back and forth and singing this song and just big smiles on their face and the whole town murdered him like everybody there is guilty and I think that's what makes it so much scarier is the fact that there was no getting out. It wasn't one evil guy. You could say Lord Summer Isle was obviously spearheading this campaign, but everybody else joined in. Everybody else participated. And he's like, you know what? Next year, they're going to sacrifice you, Lord Summer Isles. And I highly doubt that's going to happen. But we didn't get to see it, obviously. Just looking out and the last thing you see before you die is a group of like 100 people singing at your demise because they're like, apples, we love our apples. We're going to have a great crop. Thanks for coming out. Bye. Like just so bizarre the whole movie was very very bizarre because of the time i'm guessing they actually built that giant wicker man thing and that's just insane like comp below if you know how they created it how long it took anything like that overall i really enjoyed it super bizarre but i think at the core there was an interesting story and obviously the twist ending when we find out he's been set up he's the sacrifice rowan is fine she has no intention of leaving and he will become the wicker man and be burned to death slowly it's just terrifying it felt like every scene there was something bizarre and something out of place and something that we're not used to seeing it was just like okay what's going on here like they did a good job of also answering the questions which I think is important they didn't just be weird for the sake of being weird and then be like well movie's over see you later like they actually led you along on this path and helped you solve the answer is or like Lord Summer Isle said what you were being led to believe basically like you believe these things because we've been telling you to what to believe which I think could be an interesting parallel if you want to go into religion as well people believe things because it's based on faith and what they've been told to believe definitely an interesting concept for a horror movie and despite there being a low body count despite there being very minimal blood and gore I still really enjoyed it uh, I'm definitely gonna have to rewatch it again at some point and see how that Nicolas Cage remake holds up but thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me if you have any other suggestions for horror movies you think i should watch please comment below and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content music performed by magnet what's a corn rig she's a rabbit quite the musical little village here she's just sitting naked on his grave all their songs are about fornication their religion is about the penis she's holding an egg in one hand and a baby in another not enough gumballs in the world to get the frog taste out of your mouth that was literally just a jar of foreskins burning human hands